Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. Today we have another very important topic in our stock for discussion. Many of the parents, they are very much perplexed with their children. They consider them with so many negative aspects. And I have chosen one of those conditions. As it says, is your child slow in learning? So this is our topic today. That's what we are going to discuss. So let's start. Let's begin our discussion from the question from our title. Do you think your child is a slow learner? If the answer is no, you must stay glued to it. If your answer is yes, the decision is up to you. Why? Actually, when a child learns, it tries to do something, whether it succeeds or fails. The experience is reviewed by it and it leads to learning. If here we refer to Kolb's famous cycle of learning, would find the four steps as he said regarding the process of learning. The first of them is do, the second is review, the third is learn and the fourth is apply. So these are the four steps with which we learn according to Kolb's theory. Here we may use an example that would uh, help us to learn to understand those four steps whether it happens in practical life or not. So when a child touches a hot object, it is the first step, that is do. Then it uh, reviews and this process is mental. It makes a sense of what it experiences. So the first step, do. And the second step reviews we got here. This again instigates learning. So what he had done, what he had experienced, the together instigates the process of learning. So he learns something. Now there will be the apply stage. I'll get causes before touching any object like this. This proceeds the process of learning. So here, from this practical example, we have found the four steps of learning that is observed in our children. So here, the learning must be used in broad sense. Most of the time, we limit this in academic. That is learning mathematics, science, Shavik's etc. Now some parents think that their child is a swift learner but most of the parents consider their words as slow learners. But what's the fact? What's the reality? The fact is the very concept of slow or fast learner is a myth. Yes, I am repeating. Listen to me very carefully. The fact is, the very concept of slow or fast learner is a myth. If you watch keenly, you will surely find your word good at learning something while slow at others. So somewhere he learns very fast and for some other fields, he gets slow. Now it is, it is a proved fact that the power of brain is equal for everyone. Don't consider your word worthless. Only the traditional ways of learning through lecture, remember, practice and exam is making them slow. So it happens that uh, your 
board find it's really tough to learn mathematics but it might be very very fast learner for language or vice versa so it happens everyone has their own genre of performance of excellence here another point must be considered seriously you must admit that each and every individual learns differently there's no such unique method that would work well for each and every learner in the traditionally managed schools it is not available but as parents you can do this if you really crave for the all-round development of your world why do we focus on the all-round development because there's some developments that normally we fail to consider at the uh, early days but as they grow up we start demanding from them those qualities which we haven't taught them here i would suggest some steps for you to follow the first spend time with your child and observe it in its free activities don't thrust upon it any activity rather let it do whatever it likes find out its likes and dislikes then this is the second point find out its likes and dislikes the third point try different ways for it to do something fourth point encourage it in its natural activities so if you do these things if you provide them their own space if you provide them their own method of learning they would learn easily even in those fields where they are slow so we are not actually solving the problem by trusting upon them our own method of learning we are overburdening them and that's not our goal we must understand this so don't expect a panacea for curing its learning difficulties inspire it to rise in new horizon don't make the whole thing didactic but be constructive so instead of being didactic be constructive follow these methods because these are globally proven methods many educationists and teachers they have worked on it and obviously it's going to work for you as well so thank you thank you very much for listening to me and if you stumbled upon this channel for the very first time you may subscribe this channel if you like it you may like our uh, productions and if you like if you want your friends and relatives to have a knowledge of this obviously you may share them as oil and wait for many other such videos we are bringing them one after one until then bye bye